Hey guys, it's Erica. Today I'm gonna be doing a postpartum update. Patrick and Kylan are right behind me. Kylan is like fighting his sleep right now. So if you hear him like giggling or whatever, it's just he's fighting his sleep right now, but he's like fed and everything. So I'm gonna be talking about like my body, my mental health, breastfeeding a little bit, and also like my healing process. Um, so I'm probably gonna be doing it in that order. For my like body recovery, um, aside from like vaginal healing, the third day that I got back home, like postpartum, my whole like legs and my feet started getting swollen, like really, really swollen. In the hospital, they normally check you to see if you're like swelling. Um, like the nurses would come in every day and like take off my socks and like check to see if I was swollen or anything like that. <laughs> but in the hospital, wait. He's hungry. You think he's hungry? Hey, okay. Is he reaching for your nipple? No. Hi. Oh. Come on, guys. It's Pat. I'm currently editing this right now, and you guys have been killing it with the watch time. That means you've been watching it from the beginning to the very end of the vlog, so do not skip it. This is a lot of great content in here. I won't be in this video, unfortunately. You won't see my beautiful face, but you will see Erica's. So let's get back to her. Kylan has his bottle now, and he's going to be calm for a little bit, but... Anyways, at the hospital, I wasn't swollen. I was recovering perfectly fine. And then I got home and I started swelling up like really bad in my feet, in my legs. And I've never been that swollen in my whole entire life. And then my face was swollen too, a little bit. Not as much as my feet though. And I would soak my feet, nothing would help it. Uh, I drank a lot of water um, and still it like, it wouldn't go down. I had my feet elevated. Um, and it wouldn't go down for a while and my parents were really worried because they thought that something was wrong um, But then after like maybe like five days or so it went down and like now my feet are completely back to normal So that was the only thing that was kind of weird when I came back home from the hospital um, And then other than that body wise my stomach has gone down a lot and i think it's because of the breastfeeding because i haven't been doing anything with my diet obviously i can't exercise or anything like that but my stomach has gone down a lot but i've also noticed stretch marks i have like these white stretch marks around my belly button mainly and my skin is like a little bit saggy um which is normal but I noticed the stretch marks that I didn't notice when I was pregnant, which I'm gonna be showing you guys my stretch marks later on. I haven't been wearing a faja, which a lot of people have been saying like, oh, wear a faja, wear a faja, but I honestly was not in the mood to be all like apretada wearing a faja or anything like that. But I do have two. I have the one that my insurance gave me, which is just like normal shapewear. I've only worn this like once or twice because it's really, really tight. And then the other one that I have is like an actual waist trainer um, that doesn't really fit me yet. I'm like close to fitting it, but not yet fitting it, which is like this. So this is the one that I think is actually gonna help me a lot, but that's what I'm gonna be doing for like my waist and stuff like that. As for the stretch marks on my body though, I've been applying aloe vera gel, like from an actual plant, not like the aloe vera gel that you can buy at the store, but from the actual plant. I've been applying that on my belly just to keep it moisturized and help with the scarring and stuff like that. Um, and that's all that I've been doing for my belly. Um, I'm not really too concerned about it like going back to normal because I know it's gonna go back to normal eventually. But I think that's pretty much it for body-wise. Mentally, I've been fine. Maybe a little bit emotional and like a little bit like overprotective when it comes to like Kylan a little bit. But nothing really dramatic has changed um, with my emotions really. Like, I, cause I know my mom was afraid that I would get like postpartum depression and that's always a concern with a lot of women. But I've been lucky that I've had a lot of support around me, like with my parents coming here and visiting like every week, having Patrick home and not working and having his mom around too. And then like just having like family around. So I've had an easy transition into like motherhood and postpartum and everything like that. 
which I'm really happy about. Um, breastfeeding, I get a lot of questions about breastfeeding and like whether I'm pumping, breastfeeding, or like supplementing in my formula. But um, when I came home from the hospital, um, my milk cell hadn't come in and it was like, I guess the third day of Kylan being alive. And my milk still didn't, still didn't come in, I was just colostrum. And I was really stressed out because I was like, oh my god, he's not eating and like he can't gain weight because originally he came out weighing like six pounds, 12 ounces. And then um, on his first pediatrician appointment, he had gone down to six pounds, three ounces. And which is normal people, I mean, babies normally like lose weight when they come back home from the hospital. Uh, so it was normal, but it was still concerning because he was really tiny and my milk hadn't come in and I hadn't felt anything different in my boobs. So I was like, oh my God, what if it like never comes in? I didn't really want to do formula just because one, um, formula can be expensive. Two, um, everyone knows the benefits of breastfeeding. Um, and if I can do it, then I'm gonna do it. And if not, it's not the end of the world. But it's just a lot better because it's natural and convenient. I can just whip out my tit and like feed him and not have to go through the sterilization of bottles and getting formula and all that, like, no. So, um, my milk hadn't come in, so I started drinking um, a quinoa oatmeal, like, smoothie, like, liquado. And quinoa and oatmeal are supposed to help lactation and stuff like that, I don't know. My mom is the one who put me onto it. So I did that and the next Day, my milk had come in and I was able to breastfeed Kylan so now I am pumping and breastfeeding I pump maybe like three times a day and I can produce about like 14 ounces um, in a pump session and then at night while like we're sleeping I try to breastfeed Kylan and like also in the evening and in the mornings I try to breastfeed Kylan because like I don't want to get out of my bed and like go heat up a bottle so I breastfeed him and Kylan hasn't had a problem latching on because that's also a concern sometimes with the baby's latch. But Kylan does well with the binky, with the bottle and latching onto my boob. So we're good on that. And he's very well fed because we went to the, his uh, second pediatrician appointment and he had gained up to like seven pounds, I think one ounce. And now I don't know how much he is, but he's getting like heavy to hold. So he is perfectly fine and happy and healthy. And he drinks about like four ounces every couple, like two hours maybe. So he's pretty good with that. Um, and oh, and when it comes to like breastfeeding, I was lucky that I haven't had much pain. Like I haven't had bleeding or like cracking or like anything like that with like my nipples or anything. Uh, which is really good because I would have been traumatized if that happened. And I think it's because uh, prior to like breastfeeding stuff like that, I would keep my like breast moisturized. Um, and I think that really helped me a lot. And now I have like some stretch marks on my boobs, but not much. So that's pretty much it for breastfeeding. As for like my recovery for like my stitches and whatnot, when I delivered they had told me I had a first degree chair and a chair in my urethra I think something like that I think it's like where you like pee from something like that um, and I hadn't had pain in the hospital and I was on ibuprofen when I came back home they had also given me ibuprofen and then I had my whole like recovery kit with like the dermaplast the witch hazel and like the big sanitary pads um, cause I was bleeding a lot. Um, and I was fine for like the first couple of days at the hospital and like the first day when I got home. But then it was just like excruciating pain when I would sit down. Like I, I didn't, I hated sitting down. I wanted to be like laying flat, but obviously I couldn't cause I had to be doing things around the house or taking care of Kylan. Um, but it hurt really bad to sit down. I think it's because I don't have a butt. So it's just all like bony down there. And so it's like right on my stitch. Um, but that was like the most uncomfortable thing about like the recovery for like my vagina. Um, let me see what else. Oh, bleeding. Um, I'm almost like two weeks postpartum and I'm still bleeding 
the same amount as I was beforehand. Um, so I'm still using like the overnight uh, kit that they give you at the hospital. But I'm still bleeding. Um, I don't have any pain though. Like my pain has gone down like completely. Um, so I'm happy about that because now I'm able to do a lot more things around the house. A lot of people say like, oh, you need to rest, you need to sleep. But honestly, I feel sometimes more energized now postpartum than I did beforehand because I had the whole weight of like the baby. And now it's just like, I feel like I can do things a lot more easier. So that's why I'm not resting as much as people say like I should be. But I feel fine and I know I, I get enough sleep because I'm on Kylan's schedule of sleeping. So I sleep whenever Kylan sleeps pretty much. Um, another thing that I think people would want to know, or at least I wanted to know, was like the first poop postpartum, like when you get home or the first poop at the hospital or whatnot. Um, a lot of people say that it's painful. I think that because I had just like a first degree tear, mine wasn't painful at all. Um, it took a while, but it wasn't painful, so I'm happy about that. And at the hospital, they give you like those like squirty bottles, and that really, really helps when you pee. Even up until now, it helps a lot because I had that tear in my, uh, the sec no, the first degree tear, because I had that tear, um, the bottle just helps when you pee so you don't get like singing or whatnot. Um, but yeah, my first poop wasn't traumatic. It wasn't scary. It was like any other normal poop that I could ever have. But I know that other girls have like really scary first poops to the point where they think that their stitches came out. Um, but I just got really lucky with this whole pregnancy, even with like the labor and delivery and postpartum. I got really lucky with everything being just like pretty smooth. So I'm happy about that. But that's pretty much all I have for my postpartum. I'm only two weeks. So who knows how I'm gonna feel later down the road. Um, but I guess I'll show you guys my belly, like how it looks now. So this is my belly about almost two weeks postpartum. So I still have like this little belly right here, which makes it look like I'm like 20 weeks pregnant, or at least how I used to look 20 weeks pregnant. I still have like La Niña Negra and my belly button is still like all weird. Honestly, I don't really mind it because I know I can go down really quickly if I like exercise um, and I, if I wear a faja, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And you can't really see my stretch marks, but they are there. So that is pretty much everything with my postpartum. Maybe I'll do like a month postpartum or like a two month postpartum later on down the road. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Um, and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And turn your post notifications on so you get notified every single time we post a new video. We try to post as much as we can. Um, obviously, we have the baby now, so it's kind of hard. But thank you guys for keeping up with the videos and leaving your nice comments and likes. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.